Good day everyone and welcome to another Home of Fit series with me, Nzali Bangisi from the Sports Science Institute of South Africa in the Newlands, Cape Town. For those new viewers that you are joining us today, we are going to be doing a core and mobility session. So today we just want to now get back to basics so we can get into this restorative flow. So I would like to invite you then to get your mats, get your towel, get your bottle and we're going to be starting seated today. As usual, we'll be doing our mobility session first so we just can loosen up our joints, get a little bit warm and just restore our bodies. Maybe you went for a run this morning or you joined Rodé this morning at 8 o'clock for his functional session. But now we're going to just bring our bodies back to a certain equilibrium and just find our bodies and make sure that we are nice and mobile. So, as I said, we're going to be started seated. You want to place your hands on your knees out in front of you. And we're going to go into a seated cat-cow stretch. So join me as you take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, you want to drop your chin to your chest and really, really curl your spine, bring your shoulders forward and rock back into your hands. Push your hands into your knees and your knees into your hands as you really rock backwards. Now you're feeling like you're really, really holding on to those knees as you're rocking backwards. Make sure you're tucking in your tailbone as you feel the running of your spine. Take an inhale and go all the way back up. Kind of extend in the back, look up. And as you exhale, let's go back into that cat cow. Really, really draw in that belly button to your spine. Curl out that spine and inhale up. And exhale. Get some mobility. Inhale up. And exhale as you rock backwards. You really want to hang into your hands. Push your hands into your knees. Knees into your hands. And inhale back to normal. Right, you're going to intertwine your fingers together. Place them lightly behind your head. Now my elbows are pointing to the sides. Wherever your elbow is feeling comfortable, just bring to that comfortable um, position with your elbows. Now we're going to stand nice and tall. So you really want to elongate your spine, look up straight ahead. Now you want to push your elbows a little bit backwards. So now I'm opening up that chest and I'm feeling a real, real stretch in the shoulders. Now just open up the chest. And then we're going to add a rotation. So you're going to rotate to the side as far as you can. Just feel that motion, and now you're going into that middle spine, and then come back to the middle. Remember, you want to use your breath as you push these stretches. So bring your shoulders a little bit backwards, just in line with your ears. If you can go past your ears, that's good. And let's rotate to the other side. And come back to neutral, and bring your, bring your elbows in a nice, comfortable position. Inhale. Push your elbows backwards as far as you can and rotate as you exhale. Feel that stretch coming in the middle of your spine, in your thoracic spine and come back to neutral. Really relax. Inhale. Push your elbows backwards and rotate. Exhale. Come back to neutral. Let's do this one more time. Right. Inhale. Elongate your spine. Push those elbows backwards, exhale and twist. And we're going to do to the other side. Inhale, elbows back, open up the chest, exhale, rotate. And come back to neutral. Bring your elbows forward as they point out in front of you. Drop your chin to your chest and you're really just going to relax that neck. And you really just want to gently push down on the neck or the head as you just stay in the stretch. And I'm really feeling a nice stretch going down the back of my neck and I'm really just relaxing here. Come back up and let's do that one more time. Drop your chin to your chest, elbows pointing forward and relax yeah. 
Right, now we're going to stay on the mat and I want you to come into this position here. So my front leg is out at 90 degrees. Knee pointing forward, leg pointing to the other side. The other one, knee pointing to the foot and my foot is pointing out to the back. So I'm in a kind of like a Z position with my hips or my legs, right? So you want to stay in this position. So this hand on the other side, so I have my left leg forward and my right leg backwards. So you really, this is basically going into our hip cars. So you really just want to push off, if you can, push off with your hand and you really want to just bring that hip up as far as you can. I can really feel a nice stretch in this back leg, in the hip, and I'm going to come back down. Right, and I'm going to swap over. So easily just bring your hands backwards, get into that neutral position here as you seize it and really just drop your knees to the other side and push. And you're going to keep swapping sides. So I'm just going to change my position here. Bring yourself up. Push your hips forward as far as you can. Feel that nice stretch in the hip flexors. Come back down. Swap sides. Really, really open up the hips. If you've been seated for a very long time, it's a very good idea to do these movements so you can just bring your body into a nice mobile position. And let's do one more on each side. Let's get into that flow. And to the last one. Right, and come back to neutral. Right, we're going to lie on your back for the next one. And you're going to bring your ankle up to your opposite knee. As you're going to go into that figure four stretch, so my legs are now in a figure four, but I'm going to pick up my leg off the ground as I bring my knee to chest. And I'm just going to push this knee into that ankle so that this knee goes deeper. And I'm gonna feel a nice stretch in my glutes. But I want us to do reps. So you're gonna go down, inhale, exhale, push. And down. Really control that movement as you're going up and down. Try keeping your back in a neutral position. Good. And each time you want to see how far you can push that knee into your chest. Good. Nice and easy. Two more. And we're going to go for your last one. Well done. And we're going to swap sides. So bring your other ankle up to your knee. Just open up that knee as much as possible. So you don't want to be sitting like that. Just really rest that knee out open as much as you can. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift. Push this knee into the ankle as much as you can as this leg goes in. And release. Nice and controlled as you're going down. Make sure that back is in a comfortable position at all times and down and remember see each time how far you can go as you go and you get a bit more mobile each time good two more left really relax your body here And to your last one. And back down. Well done. Right. You're going to stay on your back here. Make sure your feet are hip width apart and your toes are facing forward. We're going to get into a very neutral hip position. So whatever position you are in now, comfortably, don't change that position. That is your neutral hip and your neutral spine. Right, we're going to go into some pelvic tilts just to get some mobility in the lower back. 
and to just activate as we start our core session. Right, now I want you to drop your belly button to your spine very gently. So drop that belly button away from your shirt and you're going to gently tilt your pelvis underneath as you tuck your tailbone in and now you're flattening or you're decreasing that space that's in between your spine and the mat. And you're going to gently undo that. So now I'm creating some space. Okay, so back to your neutral spine. And you're going to go again. Really, really try to push your belly button down to your spine. Activate those abdominals as you push your back into the ground. This is very good to for some low back mobility. So if you do feel some low back pain from time to time, this is a very good exercise that you could be doing right now with me. And release. Good, we're going to go for four more here. You really want to make sure that you're doing this properly. So drop your belly button to spine and curl. Feel that back opening up. And you really want to control back out to neutral. Relax. And three more. Let's go. And release. Two more. Good. It's a very small movement as your hips are moving in and out. So don't lift your bum off the ground. All you're doing is literally tucking in that tailbone in under as you flatten your back onto the mat. Close the space between your back and open up that space as you go back to normal. And let's go one more. Really feel that back opening up and release. Well done. Okay, we're going to go to a dead bug. So you want to bring both legs up to tabletop position here. Bring your hands up to the ceiling and we're going to drop one leg and arm at the same time. So this really, really requires you to be activated. So remember, we just activated. Now, belly button to spine. Close up your ribs. No ribs flaring. Hands up to the ceiling. As I drop my left hand down, I'm going to drop my right hand down to the ground. Make sure that they don't touch the ground. You just hover each one above the ground and come back to the middle. You really want to control here. Make sure that your back isn't arching as you're going down and as you're lifting. Right, now I'm going to add a chest lift into my dead back. So I'm going to make it a little bit harder. So you're going to look up, so lift your back off the ground, look up at the crease of your hips. And we're going to go into that dead back. As you release opposite arm, opposite leg, keep the other arm in the middle and the other leg in the middle as they come together. And other side. Remember, you're not just lifting your chin to your chest, you're lifting that upper back off the ground, so your shoulders should be off the ground. As we go. That's four. Five. Good. Keep it up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. And release legs back down. Well that. So you really get that really, really nice pain and that beautiful good pain in your abdominals as we do that chest lift in our dead bug. Right. Now I'm going to bring our legs back into that tabletop position. And I want you to go into that chest lift immediately. So now I'm looking at my hips and you're going to rotate your legs. So look at my ankles. So basically I'm just rotating both knees to the other side of the room. And I can see my left ankle clearly in this angle here. So I'm going to bring my hands behind my head. So my head is not there to pull my head forward, please. This is just there to rest my neck for comfortability. So I'm going to bring my hands behind my head and my legs are in that rotated position. And I'm just going to bring myself into that bicycle crunch as I angle my, my opposite elbow to my opposite knee and come back all the way down. So I'm going to feel a nice bigger contraction in my oblique as I rotated these knees. So you're just going to keep them in that position and we're going to do four each side. I mean eight each side. So that's eight on the left and we're going to swap to the other side and eight on the right. Right. So you're going to with me now. Rotate those knees to the other side. Keep your rest of the body in position and you're going to lift into that chest lift and let's rotate. One, two, three, Good. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, squeeze. And we're gonna swap over to the other side, rotate to your knees to the other side. My knees are now facing you and I can see my right ankle clearly on this side. Hands behind my head and rotate. Look to the other side. One, two, three, four. Good, keep it up. Squeeze, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. And you can rest your legs back down to the ground. Right, hands next to your sides. Now you're going to lift your legs up to the ceiling, nice and straight, as far as you can. Whatever is comfortable for you, make sure that your back is in a comfortable position. Right, so we're going to go into scissor legs. So, if you want to keep your head on the ground, that's fine. This is the easier version. Just make sure that you go at the level that you can. And obviously you're not for pain. So if you're feeling pain in your back, please leave this exercise out. We're going to go into scissor legs. So basically this is the easier version where you're scissoring your legs. Remember we're going very slowly. So I'm not going to scissor my legs quick. I'm really going to control, control. So the lower my legs are, the harder the movement is. So you can control and see where your strength is and just go to your strength. If you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you can look up, lift into your chest, lift again, and we're going to our scissor legs. Notice how my hands are off the ground as they're hovering, and I'm going slowly. Two, three, four, five, six, good, keep it up, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. And you can pull your knees into your chest as you relax. And we're going to do three sets of these. Right. So we're going to go straight back into our dead bugs, guys. Remember, as I said, this is our back to basics. So we really want to control these movements and just get back to those basic core movements. Okay. So get with me. Knees up at tabletop position. Hands up to the ceiling. Up into my chest lift. And let's go dead bug. Straighten. Arm and leg. Come back to the middle. Two, three, control, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Well done. Hands next to your sides. We're going into those oblique crunches. Intertwine the fingers and we're going twisting over to the left. I can see my left ankle clearly. And let's go to the side. One. Two. Three. Remember I said your hands are behind your head. Not to pull your head forward. Just for some support. You are really using abdominals to come up. Last one. Eight. Good. And let's twist to the other side. Remember, your whole hip stays in the same position. Just change your knees and your ankles to face the other side. And let's go. Up you go. One. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Well done. Legs up to the ceiling. We're going to hover our hands, look up at our hips, and we're going to go into our scissors. Remember, the further down your legs are, the more challenging it is. Right, so get your back into a comfortable position. Really, really need your core strength here. Yeah, please go at your strength. And let's go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Knees into chest. Give your back a little break. You can switch. You can roll over just a little bit for some mobility. 
And we're going to go straight into our last set with this one. Right, ready. Back is in neutral. Lifting up. Dead bug. Look up. Connect your ribs. And let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Keep it up. Eight. Nine. And ten. Well done. Right. We're going straight into our oblique crunches. So, legs there. Twisting to the side. Hands behind my head. Lifting up. And let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Breathe in your motion. Six. Really get that squeeze. Seven. And eight. Well done. And we're switching over to the other side. Twist just your knees and your ankles. And let's go. Lift into your chest. Lift and move. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. Halfway. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. And eight. Well done. Hands down by your side. Lifting your legs up to the ceiling, straight legs. Remember, I'm going to go a little bit down now to challenge myself, but make sure that back isn't feeling strained. If it is, please leave this exercise out and you can join us afterwards. Right, for those of us who are doing it, let's go up into your chest, lift hands off the ground, and let's say the one, two, three, four. Keep it up. Five, control, go with me. Six, don't go too quickly. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Knees into chest. You should have felt a nice burn in your lower abdominals there. And let's take a moment just to bring our backs into a nice mobile position right we're going to go straight to our last two which is going to be over onto your hands right you're going to be in your quadrant position your hands underneath your shoulders your knees underneath your hips right so we're going to go into a fury plank hold and then the second one is a fury plank walk out. Right. So remember, with our fury plank, all you do is tuck your toes underneath you. And you're going to lift your knees about two centimeters off the ground, very, very slightly. And you're just going to hold that position. And you really want to be working your core here. If you are rocking too forward, your shoulders are going to take the strain. If you're rocking too backwards, your quadriceps are going to take the strain. And your core won't be doing the work. So you really want to position yourself in the middle of the two. So you're really working your core. So straight after the fury plank, we're going to hold this one for 20 seconds. Straight after that, we're going to be walking out. So keeping your knees up off the ground, you walk your right leg out, followed by your left leg. And you're going to be in that high plank position. Right leg back in, left leg back in. Right, we're going to do on the right side, five each side. So we're starting off with our fury plank hold. Position yourself now. Remember, you still want to get that belly button away from your shirt so you can really activate. We're still in that activation mode, eh? Tuck your toes underneath and we're going in five seconds. 20 second hold as you lift your legs off the ground. Three, two, one. And let's lift. Hold. Really want to push your hands into that mat so that your back is nice and strong. So no dipping into your shoulders. Really keep it nice and strong. Make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears. So no shrugging. Hold it almost there. Five, four, three, two, and down. Relax. Five seconds. Right. So now we're going to go up again and we're going to be walking out. Five on the right and five on the left. Ready. 
three, two, one, lift your knees off, extend, one, keep it strong, last one, and that was five on the right, and now let's repeat the left side, five on the left, and let's go. Good, keep it up. Last one. And down, well done, good. So obviously upper body will be working here as well, but it really requires some core control so that your hips are not moving or wobbling around too much. Right, let's go into our second set for that one. Fury plank hold for 20 seconds, and then a fury plank walk out five each side on the right and five on the left. Right, we're going to go for the next five seconds. Position yourself nicely. Make sure that back is strong, shoulders away from your ears. Three, two, one, and let's go. Hold. Hold it up. Good, you're doing good. Keep that belly button up. Five. Three, two, rest for a moment. We're gonna go straight back up and we're gonna walk out right and left. Three, two, one, lift and let's go. Control your hips. Imagine that there's a glass of water standing on the lower back and you don't wanna drop it. And that was five on the right. Let's repeat five on the left. Last one. Relax. Well done. And we've got one more set to go. Catch your breath. Giving you another 10 seconds. And we're going straight into it, guys. And ready. Five, four. Position yourself. Two, one, and lift. Hold 20 seconds. Almost there. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one. Rest for a moment. And we're going to straight into our walk out in 10 seconds. Right, if you need to shake your arms out, do so. And let's go. Three, two, one. Lift, walk. Two, three, four. Last one on the right. Right, and we're going straight to the left side. Left, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. Well done. Drop your hips backwards. Bump to your heels. Reach out in front of you. Get into that child's pose just for your last stretch. Deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. And as you're coming up, you want to curl out yourself like we did in the beginning of the cat cow stretch. And you are done. Thank you so much guys for joining me today and I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you guys joined us. So we will be back next week, Monday again, same time, same place. Please email us at info at CISA.com if you need any more information from us at Sports Science for any advice from a biokinesist and we can gladly assist you. Otherwise, please look out for tomorrow's new classes on Tuesday morning and afternoon. Otherwise, that's it from me, Zali, and I'll see you guys next week.